Okay, Chris, <clears throat> this is the front of 1426 Grape Arbor. It's a corner lot. Again, this one's a short sale. And um, when we speak on the phone, I'll discuss that further with you if you want to consider that option. Okay. So it does back tree line, which can get pretty busy, but um, hopefully the traffic will, you won't be able to hear it from uh, with the door shut. I can a little bit, but um, not terribly bad. So. There's like this front room with a pony wall. I don't know if it's load bearing. Uh, some wood floor and tile downstairs. A little coat closet. And, uh, that is a painting, so you can take it down if it's not really your style. And uh, here's the other room, family room, and then it's granite countertops in the kitchen. Here, I'll go ahead. There's another painting here as well that you could take down if you didn't like it. Okay. Again, uh, I don't know if this is movable. I don't think it is, but there's a it's a unique kind of cut for the island. It looks like an addition after the fact. Okay. Double sink. Pretty good amount of storage space in the cabinets. Okay. This is three quarter bath downstairs. some storage underneath the stairwell as well. Lots of paint. Okay, laundry room. There's some storage cabinets. It's quite a large laundry room, almost like a mud room. Okay. And three well it's big enough to be a three car but it looks like they converted the one car part. There's a little bit of a workbench. And again, there's a step dividing the two car from the one car build out that you can tell that they opted for that and it could have been a three car. It's a pretty spacious garage. Now, unique on this property is they'd like you to rent it. Here's the third bedroom, sorry about that. You know, it's like Berber carpet. I'll give you a panoramic. So it could be a bedroom. It looks like they converted the closet space to make this into an office downstairs. But, uh, so since it doesn't have a closet, technically it's considered a den. Okay, we'll go outside before we go upstairs. There's a doggy door built in. And this is called a Nevada room or a Florida room. Out here, so let me give you a panoramic of this. You got curtains, but you can see it's sheltered in. Panoramic. It's just curtains. You could take those down. It's all windows. And it looks like it has a old air conditioning or a swamp cooler unit. I believe it's an air, electric air conditioner unit, though. Okay. And then 
and I'm looking for the exit so we can see the backyard. I'm not seeing the door. Ah, here we go. Maybe? Yes, okay. There is an alarm, so no kids can get out without. An adult knowing or setting the alarm off. Okay. So it has a nice little co covered awning on the side. And it looks like they epoxied the cement over here. So let's start over here. Plenty of storage on the side of the house. Nice shaded area. And again, you back tree line so you'll be able to hear the traffic. Let's see here, and the pool is a long one. It takes up the whole back of the house. So you can see there's only about three feet from the wall. Two feet, maybe. There's the Nevada room. And again, that's removable. If you decided that you didn't want that, it would just be a cement slab then. Get some pretty grapevines. Let's get a panoramic from this side of the pool. Okay, and then they have it gated over here with all the pool equipment and air conditioning and whatnot on this side of the house. We'll get a shot from over here. Back inside, and we'll tour upstairs. Uh, pool looks pretty deep, actually. You could probably add a diving board, from what I see. It looks like it's about, I'd say, eight, ten feet deep. So you could definitely dive. So that's kind of nice. And then it gets more shallow at this end. the Nevada room. Okay, and again the family room with fireplace. Doggy door. And I believe you could knock this wall down. It's not, it doesn't seem to be a load-bearing wall, so you could make this one great big room if you wanted to. Um, Upon looking further, I do see by the door that it's either weather-worn or there was some water damage, which is what it looks like more to me. It's raising a little and it, it's a little soft, so I believe that's water damage. So home inspection could tell you what that is. Yeah, some nice light fixtures. And the kitchen. Down this hall, the bathroom, other bedroom, laundry. Okay, Berber carpet up the stairs. Okay, there's another view from upstairs. You can see the build out. Okay, this is the master. It has some pretty unique windows. So right off the right into the master is the master bath. Dual sink, toilet bathtub and shower behind the door. It's a frosted glass. And then, yeah, it has some windows in the master. Here's a panoramic view. Master. 
It's a large master bedroom, not a lot of closet space. I'm like, oh, I guess it's bigger than I thought. Oh, it's way deeper than I thought. It's a slider door. And lots of bars for hanging clothes. Okay. And back out in the hall, there's some linen cabinets. Okay, to the left, somebody wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> And I see this is all a, a mural in this bedroom and a closet and it has its own bathroom. It's a Jack and Jill. It connects to the other bedroom. So that's the closet. Let me get another shot of this bedroom. Okay. <laughs> Unique. It's a lot of character. You can kind of see the layout of the room. And then Bathroom with single sink, toilet, shower tub combo. So it is a full bath. And then, again, it's a Jack and Jill, so it comes out into the other bedroom. I'll get another shot in the corner. This one has a walk in closet. As you can see, And that concludes our tour of Grape Arbor.